Good news of the kingdom. Mark chapter 1 verse 1 and verse 14 and 15. The beginning of the gospel, the good news of Jesus Christ, the Son of God. Now, after John was put in prison, Jesus came to Galilee preaching the gospel, the good news of the kingdom of God and saying, the time is fulfilled and the kingdom of God is at hand. Repent and believe in the gospel. Another aspect of this good news of Christ coming into the world is the good news of the kingdom or as the Bible puts it here, the gospel of the kingdom. The word gospel simply means good news. Uh, it's news that uh, is meant to uh, bring joy, bring gladness to our hearts. And so Jesus began his ministry by announcing the good news of the kingdom. And the good news of the kingdom is that God's kingdom is here. God's kingdom is now accessible to us. That you and I can actually get in to the kingdom and the kingdom can get in to us. And we can be part of the kingdom of God. We can actually change kingdoms, so to speak. We can get out of the kingdom of darkness and all of that entails, come out of it and come into the kingdom of God and come under the rule and the dominion of Almighty God. And he said, that's good news. And I'm here to announce uh, the good news. And all you've got to do is to repent and receive this good news of the kingdom. To repent simply means to have a change in our thinking, uh, to say, Lord, as of thinking my own way, I'm going to start thinking the ways of God. I'm going to align myself to the thinking according to this good news of the kingdom and embrace this kingdom. So here is another reason why you and I can be happy, can rejoice this Christmas season, because there is the good news of the kingdom. That means we have been brought out of the kingdom of darkness and we've been brought into the kingdom of God's dear son, as the Bible says. And we belong to God's kingdom, that his dominion and his rule is over us. And we are part of that kingdom, the kingdom of light. We are part of a kingdom that far superior uh, to the kingdom of darkness. And we are in, in the kingdom of God, so which means that the kingdom of darkness has no rights over us. Satan really has no more access to us because we are in the kingdom of God. This is the good news of the kingdom. And he's saying, be happy about this. Be joyful about this. Rejoice in this. Celebrate in this. I belong to God's kingdom. God is my king. I'm under his rulership. I'm under his dominion. I'm under his covering or his keeping. I belong to that kingdom, the kingdom of light. The Bible says God has delivered us from the powers of darkness and he has translated us into the kingdom. That means we are free from every control and influence of darkness. And we are in this kingdom where there is righteousness, where there is peace, where there is joy in the Holy Spirit is what the Bible says. That's the kingdom of God. What is the kingdom of God? It's righteousness, it's peace, and it's joy in the Holy Ghost. So he says, this is good news. You belong to the kingdom. Tell yourself today, I'm in God's kingdom. God is my king. I have righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Spirit. Enjoy the good news that you belong to God's kingdom. Let's pray. Father, we thank you for sending Jesus into this world. We thank you for the good news of great joy. We thank you for the good news of the kingdom. We belong to you. We belong to your kingdom. We are under your dominion, your covering. Thank you that we are sons and daughters of the King. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit abcwo.org.